and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie, and today we're back with some more Starfield. Now, last time we continued our way through the SY920 station, and despite Juan leaving us behind, we managed to escape with the comm spike and the ship it was attached to. And we made our way back to the quay and spoke to Delgado. He wants us now to go to Neon and visit Genodyne Systems to get our hands on their electrical absorption technology. So, let's get into it. Joop. I don't know what's happened to my door. Just here for a chat? No, Hella, I... No, alright, never mind. Let's just go. Alright, what, what? The blind... Oh, you. Oh yeah, I remember you. Last time we spoke on the key, I told you there'd be hell to pay. Oh yeah. You got me kicked out of the Crimson Fleet, and now it's time for me to take everything from you. Really? Hmm. Look, we can work this out, man. It's too late for that now. All right. You want to die? Fine. And got to crack at some real money. Then you had to open your big mouth. You all you do is whinge. And I'm here to steal it all back. So whiny. Leave nothing left but space dust. All right. Okay. And now you're dead. All right. Let's, let's. I, I, I'm already trying to escape. Well, took a little bit of a pasting, but do you know what? It's fine. Absolutely fine. Not a problem. Let's, uh, the blind bet. Let's, let's grab all this goods. See that blooming wretch? Oh! How dare you, sir? Let's go. We're all repaired up now, I think.
Bloody Mathis. Ugh, what a bad hole. Alright. Hello. Let's dock. I'll report my findings. Oh, good lord. Ah. Oh. Alright. Procyon B1. Be careful you do not track mud on the floors. You would not wish to tarnish this hospitable environment. I sincerely hope that's sarcasm, Andreja. Sincerely hope. Alright. Hello again. Goes nose, good lord. What a thing to talk about. Why are you spying on her when she's supposed when she's busy? Oh, no, I'm sure they are. Thrill a minute. All right. It's good to have you back. It seems you had quite the eventful mission on your hands. Uh huh. You still have the Crimson Fleet's trust, and you were able to spare lives in the process. I oh, know. Genius. There it is. Um, given that was a UC station, I thought it best not to hurt anyone. How is Mass reacting to the whole thing? Infiltrating, infiltrating that station without getting caught was quite tricky. It was, actually. I'm not going to lie. But you did so with an abundance of stealth and restraint. That's exactly what we're looking for in a SysDev operative. Hmm. Then you are most fortunate you coerced us into helping you. Not some half-mad spacer. There you go. Excuse me, sir. I hate to interrupt, but there's still the matter of the comm spike to discuss. Yes, of course, Lieutenant. Time is short, and we should get to the matter at hand. Yep, yeah, let's get on Please with it. give me your report. Well, all right. Hmm. What do you mean, time is short? Yeah, what's going on? With the acquisition of the comm spike, the fleet is one step closer to Crix's legacy. Mm. And the more people we arrest, the greater the chance that your infiltration is discovered. All We're right. We're working against the clock here, so let's start by discussing the status of the comm spike. Hmm. Yeah, Delgado has Jasmine Durand working on the comm spike. Then it's just a matter of time before she reverse engineers it to fit the fleet's purposes. Uh-huh. So what does Delgado have you doing next? Has he solved the Bannock 4 problem? Um The Bannock 4 problem? Let's just let's just see what they think. Bannock 4 is an EM class gas giant. Your ship will need special protection to ensure the electromagnetic disturbances in the planet's atmosphere don't fry your circuits. He believes Genodyne's conduction grid in Neon is the key, yeah. The conduction grid? Yeah. That's brilliant, but is it actually possible? It's 80-year-old tech. So? Sorry, sir. The conduction grid is how Neon generates its power. It essentially absorbs lightning strikes and converts it to usable energy. Useful. It would take a hell of an engineer to modify the technology to handle Bannock 4's EM field. An engineer. Like Jasmine Durand. There you go. That's the case. Inform our contacts on Neon that our operative will be touching down there in the near future. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, sir. And before you depart, I wanted you to know that your efforts are helping us gain interest among my superiors. They're finally beginning to believe that we can take down the Crimson Fleet. And make amends for the UC's embarrassing mistake. Mm. Well. What embarrassing mistake, yeah. The fact that our common enemy owes its existence to the United Colonies, of course. It was the riot at the lock touched off by Jasper Creeks that inspired him to create the Crimson Fleet in the first place. Thanks to mm. your assistance, we'll be able to rectify that mistake. And Mast will authorize an all-out assault. Good God. All right. Um, yeah, aren't you concerned that the fleet's getting close to Crix's legacy? Of course I am. But it's a calculated risk. Uh, yeah. I mean, bloody hell. I hope it does mean I'm getting a pay increase. Good Lord. I'll see what I can do. You've certainly gone above and beyond the call of duty. Aye. All right. I suppose that's all for now. Good. I'll be looking forward to your next report. Good luck. And please, be careful. Mm. Coerced us into this, you know. I don't think I've got any more evidence for what her. Can I do for you? Um, I have evidence hmm. for you. Glad to hear it. Let's see what you got. Did we find anything else? Um, do you know what? No. Okay, fine. 
Dr. Olive. I'll be here if you have any more questions. I have none. Thank My you. Family's all in the UC Navy. Very the good, system. mate. Yeah, bracket rhymes. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Good God. All right, let's just get out of here. Let's get to neon. Yes, yes nothing. Goodbye. Oh. Oh, we're back in neon. I do quite like neon, you know. I know it's a little bit of a dive, but I like it. It's um, it's got an atmos I quite like. All right, maybe we should go to the trade authority and sell some stuff. Hey, dude. This better not be a waste of my time. If you uh, find anything else. All right, let's go. Just have to get rid of some stuff because my god. Some of the things we load ourselves down with like a bloody pack horse. Alright, let's go and meet this woman. Madame Savage's place. I love it. Estelle Vincent. Oh, I think we've spoken to Estelle before. I think she's the French lady. Yeah. Hello. You looking no. to get zone? Uh, no. <sighs> I'm looking for you. Yeah? Well, if I had a credit for every time I heard that line, I wouldn't be stuck working in this place. So, I'm guessing you're the rook that Delgado sent. Hmm. Well, let me save both of us some time. All right. What do you want? Turn around, fly back to the key, and tell the big boss that I'm in no mood to screw around. We'll make this deal when he starts taking me seriously. No, no. We'll make this deal now. <sighs> Who said no one's taking you seriously? Come on, give me a break. You're not exactly a top dog over there at the key, now are you? Sending me a rook to handle a job this risky is a goddamn insult. Really? I'm getting pretty tired of being called a rook. And I'm getting tired of the fleet not taking me seriously. I will shoot you in I the face. The last three months setting up this job burned two contacts and a hell of a lot of credits. Ah, boohoo. The whole time, I'm also keeping Bayou off our backs. That idiot even catches a whiff of money and he latches onto you like a damn leech. Yeah, yeah. He has certainly earned quite a reputation. Neon is proof of it. Mm hmm. If you want, yeah. Uh, cry me a river. Yeah. Really, that's what I feel like saying. Yeah, boo-hoo. Cry me a river. T tell it to a judge. We're having to put up with it. Jeez Louise. we got everybody waffling on at us. Yeah. If you want to annoy him, that's on you. All right. All right. I get the point. Let's just get this over with. Why is one side of... I don't of... have a ton of time to stand here and screw around, so I'm going to make this as clear as possible. Well, thank God. You want the conduction grid tech. Yes. And you're going to have to download it from the power core of Jennerdyne's facility in the underbelly. Well, whoop de doo da Yeah, why is her jaw... It seems a little bigger on this side than that side. Am I tripping out on that? Weird. Okay, um... <sighs> okay, yeah, what kind of facility are we talking about? I'm talking about Jennerdyne's main power plant for Neon. I think we've been there. <laughs> All their cushy offices might be up in the trade tower, but the nuts and bolts of their operation are running beneath the city. Well, great. Let's, uh... Yeah, sounds easy Love enough. Love the confidence. Yeah. But before you pull the ripcord, I'm afraid I need to add a bit of a wrinkle. There's always a wrinkle. While you're inside Jennerdyne, mm -hmm. I need you to plant a virus into their system. A why? It's a simple side job that'll earn you some credits. I think you can handle it. Hmm. Yeah, you never mentioned anything about a virus. This is obviously a side job. You know, um... That's because you're planning it for me as a favor. Oh, how interesting. Jennerdyne has all sorts of tasty, valuable snacks in their databanks, and I want access. Oh, well, really? Here, take this micro drive and access the computer in Brayson Bayou's office. It'll do the rest on its own. Mm. Well, yeah, I assume I'll be um, facing some serious security. Yeah. Oh, no. Are you scared, little rabbit? No. Don't worry. I've got you covered. Jennerdyne's got their place locked down tight. But, as usual, the weak link comes from the people that work there. 
I recommend you start with Ayumi Komiko, an upper-level exec at Jennerdine. Get your hands on her security pass, and you'll have the run of the place. All right, easy. Okay. Um, I don't think that'll help, will it? Hmm. Yeah. Ryujin Cloud doesn't mean shit at Jennerdine. Oh well. So you're gonna have to deal with Komiko and potentially her boyfriend, Benjamin Bayou. Oh great. Anyway, you can find Komiko at Euphorico. Euphoric? Talk to the owner of the place, mm. Micah. She'll point you in the right direction. As for mm. dealing with Komiko herself, she's got an office in the Trade Tower if you're looking for something incriminating. Uh -huh. The rest All is right. up to you, Rook. When you're done, come meet me at the VIP booth in the Astral Lounge, so we can celebrate. Really? Mm. Do you know what? Do Just you know grab what? that tech and plant the virus. Should be a cinch. Yeah, I don't like this lady. Let's get out. Come on, Dreja, we can do this. Good God. Just your standard, you know, sneak in, get what we need, and sneak out job. So, jeez, woman. Scared the life out of me. Alright. Okay, well, so what's what's that? That is, ask Micah about Ayumi Komika's whereabouts. Locate evidence to extort her. Okay, maybe we could maybe we could sniff about, see what's what. I wonder what ever happened to that dude who was staying in the hotel. Did he ever have his um his stag do thingy that he was keen on? For a gun. Yeah, you. You're really going to walk on by? No, coming in. Welcome to Chunks. Please choose your Chunks. You are not at Chunks. Are you drunk? You good? Yeah, I'm fine. If you're planning on using really Aurora, a bunch. we respectfully ask you do so in the members' lounge. Uh, I'm looking for Ayumi Komiko. You people should leave her alone. What do you want with her? Um. Yeah, why do you care so much? Not that it's any of your business, but we're very close. We're in love. Um. I refuse to let anything bad happen to her, no matter how much trouble she's gotten herself into. What do you mean? Well, um. Yeah, I've got some documents for her to sign. Yeah, sure. Tell me another one. You debt collectors are low-life assholes. She's broke, okay? So she's in debt. Now, hmm. get out of my club before I get really pissed off and have you thrown into the street. I suspect I would enjoy the attempt much more than you would. Huh. Yeah, how much is it going to cost? Come on. Oh my god. You're offering me money to betray her? How low can you get? Look. I'm getting really tired of this crap. Get out now. <sighs> yeah. The the Crimson Fleet. Oh my, I, I'm sorry. I had no idea. I didn't mean anything by it really. Mm. Sorry, I just well, I worry about her. Ayumi owes a lot of money around town. I'm trying to help her out. But, you know, I have a business to keep afloat. If you want to talk to her, you can find her in the members' lounge. All right. Of course, access to the lounge is going to cost you. And I'm not changing my mind about that. 5,000 creds. Killer, locate evidence, or... You know what, yeah, Excellent. fine, pay. Then here is your access key. Fine, not Please a problem. Please let us know if anything in the lounge interferes with your comfort. Hmm. All right. Enjoy your stay. Oh, I will. Love the vibe of this place. My God. All right. So this woman's up here. So we could pay her. <coughs> we could pay her off. To get some. Uh, to get the to what we want. Some Aurora, I have plenty of no, thank you. We're um, we're quite all right here. I'm just having a little sniff round before I do anything else. Oh, hello. 
There's the bathrooms, yeah. Anything in here? No. Considering this is VIP, hello, graffiti on the walls, what? Alright, let's talk to this woman. Alright. Yeah. What do you want? Hmm. You work for Genodyne, right? Before you continue, let me save you some time. If you are having a problem with your power or complain about your rates, you need to contact our customer service department. Anything else? I need a way in, yeah. Uh, you must be zoned out of your mind, because there's no way anyone sober would say something like that. Hmm. Would it help if I said I would be willing to pay? Yes. You're serious? Mm-hmm. Okay, then let me ask you a question, genius. Oh, go on. Do you really think I'd risk my position as CEO of Jennerdyne for a few credits? I don't think so. I do. I do. The Crimson Fleet's asking, not me. The Crimson Fleet, huh? This is interesting. So tell me, what does Delgado need with my pastor Jennerdyne? It's a wonderful thing called non your business. Can't we come to some kind of financial arrangement? No, no, no. You don't just waltz in here and throw the Crimson Fleet onto the table without giving answers. If Delgado wants in, and I'm going to put my ass on the line, I want everything out in the open. Hmm. I wonder if we could... Well... Yeah, alright. So, let me get this straight. You want me to sneak you into Genodyne so you can steal the only profitable piece of technology the company's come up with in decades. If you expect me to take a risk like that, then it's going to cost you some major credits. <sighs> Since when do you care about taking risks? Do you yeah. have any idea what Benjamin Bayou would do to me if he found out we were even having this conversation? If I'm going to let you into Genodyne, I need a backup plan. Namely, money to get off world fast. You understand what I'm saying? I don't have to pay you a single credit. Yes, you do. Short of taking it off my dead body, which would never happen thanks to my Sioga buddies here, you don't pay, you don't get the pass. Hmm. Doesn't say what amount, though. I wonder if we could get some then info. You better go find some, because this pass isn't going to come cheap. All right. Just um. All right. Excuse me. Let's see if we can get some info on her then. Because I don't know what she's um, asking to be paid. So without Just knowing, chunks. I think the chunks employee is a little bit drunk, maybe. Yeah, because um. Without knowing what she actually wants to be paid, it's kind of hard to um, to know whether we should pay it or not. I mean, we probably should should pay it. Was this here before? Right. Okay, so her office is over here. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we can find out. Excuse me. Thank you. That's fine because I don't give a damn either, sir. I couldn't give a damn, sir. Hello. Hmm. Yeah. What? J Jai Nishid Nashida. I'm really busy right now. You look it. Let me save you some time. If you're here for a job, we're not hiring. If you're here about the conduction grid tour, we shut it down a year ago. Um. I don't need a job. Good. If you were, you'd be the twelfth person I've turned away this year. What a waste. All right. Look. I'm sorry if I'm blowing up at you, but I've got a ton of problems and no time to deal with them all. I'm afraid that things aren't going terribly well around here. Um. Hmm. If you don't mind talking about it, I'm willing to listen. I don't care if I'm allowed to or not. I'm happy to get this off my chest. Oh, brilliant! The conduction grid went online almost 75 years ago. And since then, we haven't developed a single groundbreaking innovation. Mm. At this point, the money we're taking in as a power utility barely covers the waste that's going on in the research and development division. Oh, God. Um, sounds like you need a new person in charge of R&D. 
Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> You'd think that, right? Yep. The problem is that Brayson Bayou, Administrator Bayou's brother, is currently heading up the R&D division. I swear to you, the man doesn't know the first thing about power systems or electromagnetic technology. All oh, right. Um. Hmm. Yeah, why do you care so much about it? I can give you 117 reasons. Our employees. Ah. If Genodyne goes completely under, how many of them will lose their jobs? How many might get cut in a restructure? Yeah. My position puts me in charge of the welfare of our personnel. I can't in good conscience allow that to happen to them. Uh, surely there's other scientists working with him, yeah. Of course there are. But so far, Brayson has suppressed most of their work through pure jealousy. I think Look, it's time to get rid of him. I'm running out of options. No one above me seems to care what's going on, but I'm willing to take a chance. All right. I have a full report on Brayson that I want to send to Administrator Bayou, but I don't know if he can be trusted. What do you think I should do? Hmm. What does the report say? Yeah. It describes my aggravation with how badly Brayson Bayou is running the Research and Development Division. I'm also including a list of all the failed experiments he's greenlit and how much they've cost Genodyne as proof of his incompetence. I'm praying someone as financially successful as Administrator Bayou might be able to put aside his ego and look at this from a business perspective. If there's money to be made, you know, he'll be all over it. <sighs> I mean, this dude might lose his job, though, that's the thing. I... Uh... But Bayou does like money. And if there's a way to make money, it'll be all over it. Yeah. You know what? It. You're absolutely right. I can't allow Brayson to run this company into the ground. No. Hey, look. Uh, thanks for helping me out with this. It's been on my mind for a long time. Why don't you just send it anonymously? If there's anything else you need, any questions at all, feel free to ask. Um... Yeah, mind if I ask some questions about Ayumi, Kami... Kamiko? As long as it doesn't get me into serious trouble, ask away. That's fine. Um, do you suspect she's involved in anything illegal? Whoa. Okay, that's crossing the line. I can't discuss company matters like this. Come on, you can. There's no reason for us to have a problem, is there? I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. Oh, yeah, 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 I do, I do. Um, I promise this is just between us. Maybe... Need to think about it. I just need information. Nothing will ever be connected back to you. I mean, it might be okay. It will be. Okay, okay, listen. You didn't hear this from me, but I know she's up to something with Benjamin Bayou. He was in her office a few weeks ago, and they had some kind of shouting match. It got really heated until Bayou stormed out the door. Oh, dear. I don't know what it was about, but I happen to know Miss Komiko keeps audio recordings of all her meetings in her safe. And before you ask, yes, I'll unlock it for you. Just don't tell anyone I helped, okay? Fine, not a problem. Um, if you're so nervous about being involved, why are you allowing me into a safe? Because I'm sick and tired of the corruption that's running through this city. Ah. People around here spend half their lives terrified about being backstabbed. And spend the rest of it planning on how they're going to screw over someone else. Mm. Something rotten is going on in this company. And one day, I hope to find out what it is. I hope you do, dude, you know. I really do. Um, that's all I want to ask. Sure, sure, no problem. Um. All right. Thanks for taking the time to talk. Not a problem, dude. Hey, you know, sometimes you just, you just have to. Enjoy your coffee, mate. Can I come in here? Hello? Ooh. Well, aren't these some fancy offices? My God. If you'll excuse me, I have a deadline to me. Terribly sorry. Hello. Hello. I'm allowed in here, by the way. This is magical. David Copperfield. Ooh. What does the switch do, I wonder? Andre, are you in here? No? Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Oh, blast it. I'm hidden. Come on. 
You can't see me, I'm a ghost. Oh, wait a minute. Is that what this is? Oh, beautiful. All right. We'll have a listen to that in a minute. So, what does this do? Notifications. Oh, God, this again. I never had the patience for computer systems. No, well, thankfully, Andreja, I do. Because it means we, um, we get into a lot of good stuff, you know. All right. There we go. Sorry, folks. It was just, um, yeah. What is this? Is this just another stupid notifications thing? Hmm. Okay. Well, it's, I mean, it's a nice office, but it's kind of small. The way things are looking at Jennerdine, might be time to polish up my resume. Well, yeah. From what I understand, it's, uh, it's not Sorry, healthy. I'm busy at the moment. Hmm. All right. Alright, let's um let's leave. Let's go down to the lobby and we'll have a listen to these um recordings, see what's on there. I am uh, curious, you know. Alright. Um Meeting with Bayou evidence. Alright, Ben. Oh god. What was so important I had to come to the office in the middle of the night? It's the numbers, Ayumi. I don't like what I'm seeing. If you'd stop interfering with my company, the numbers would be better. Your company? That's funny. I thought it belonged to Mr. Harada. Give me a break. We both know you set up that identity so we could both reap the profits off the books. If Jenner Dine was showing a profit, we wouldn't be having this conversation. How the hell am I supposed to make a profit when all I have is your brother, the idiot, and my chief technician? Mm -hmm. I'd choose your next words very carefully, Miss Komiko. Raise the utility costs to your clients, cut some staff, I don't care how you do it. I want Jennerdine's profits soaring by the end of the month. And if I ever hear you talking about Brayson like that again, well, I'm sure you can imagine the consequences. Oh dear, okay. Maybe I might have cost that man more than his job, which is not good really, is it? Was there anything else in here? I think that was it, wasn't it? Hmm. Well, alright. Good God. Everything good? <sighs> Nothing to report? Nothing. I don't know. Some shady beans, man. Some shady beans going on here. What do you reckon, Andreja? It's not good, is it? Right. We are going to leave it there for today, folks. Next time we will go and confront this woman with her evidence. Well, the evidence of this meeting and um, her nefarious goings-on. So, until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves.